All right, folks, we are back again. Second video I'm recording today. Yes, same day as the Azerbaijan hyperdrive video. That's why I'm wearing the same shirt. I do change my clothes. You can see it's nighttime out, end of the same day, okay? Don't want to hear the shit. <laughs> and in the background, same as last time, I'm going to be talking here real quick. Uh, so in the background, you're going to see a really close hardpoint nuketown. Uh, my least favorite map, but you know I was playing a hardpoint pub, and it was a really good game, both in terms of how I did and how close it was competitively. So, yeah, something fun to watch in the background, I guess, while I ravel on about bullshit. <laughs> so, yeah, like the title shows, you know, there's a lot to be excited about for me right now when it comes to gaming. Um, so first off, the first thing I want to talk about is this third league I've been vaguely mentioning in some of my videos, but I haven't quite gotten any detail about i can confirm now because it is happening we are in we are signed up you know the whole shebang so uh the third league i will be racing in alongside hyperdrive which is the one on sundays and srl the one you saw the first round of at bahrain earlier this week is a league called fhk which stands for uh formula hun and kieran which are the two people that are running the league so yeah, this will be my third league that I'm racing in for F1. Well, I guess four if you consider the SRL, F1, and Project Cars series to be, uh, well, the championships to be two different leagues. But nonetheless, my third F1 league that I've been talking about. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, this is their second time running this. The first time was actually uh, towards the second half of the F1 2020 games lifespan. I competed in that. And yeah, I was able to win the driver's championship, but it was close. It came down to the last three people could have won it in the last race. Um, yeah, and was not unable to win the constructors, constructors title, but this is a unique league. It's ran a little differently and that uh, the goal was for all 10 teams to feature both one man and one woman on each team. You know, they really, as Formula Hunt is a woman, she wanted to get all the fellow, you know, F1 women in want to league together to show like hey the girls can hang with the guys and stuff you know and we all race together in one league and it was a great league you know they for people that never ran a league before they did very well um it was a lot of fun I met a lot of friends through that league that I still have today so racing again with some of those people and new people as well it's going to be really exciting like i said it's a whole new unique thing getting involved in a unique part of the community a league that's trying to get both men and women involved that unique dynamic where they focus mainly on the constructors championship they do recognize the driver's champion but the main focus is the team aspect of one man one woman so yeah it's it's gonna be really cool and i'm excited to race in it once again even though i am technically the favorite they said and you know i won the driver's championship um, like I said, you know, Constructors was the focus uh, in the first season. It's definitely not going to be a, a handout. You know, there's at least two guys that are equal to my pace. So it's going to be pretty competitive and a lot of fun nonetheless. And I'm really looking forward to it. I think we're getting started in. I think it's in two weeks. Don't quote me on that. It's like one or two weeks. <laughs> but yeah, nonetheless. And so I'm in three different leagues now. And like I said uh, in my SRL video without going into detail of this league, uh, I said that all three leagues I race in have a completely different dynamic, which is really entertaining for me because, you know, different dynamics of leagues, different challenges posed by each. And also probably more entertaining for you guys. You know, if I just raced in three leagues that are basically the same thing, just ran by different people, it wouldn't be as exciting to watch. So yeah, we got Hyperdrive, which is like your typical, uh, I shouldn't say typical, but uh, it's your... You know, top tier league, you know, a lot of top one percenters in it, multi tiered, very competitive league, you know. So you got that, you got SRL, which is like your same people have been in it, then you're all kind of homies for like years now, you know, long drawn out season where everyone kind of knows everyone, that kind of friendly dynamic, single tiered league. And then now you have something, a third completely different league in FHK where it's going to be you know, a mix of a man and woman thing going on with uh, the focus being on constructors. And not only that, but a lot of content creators are going to be involved in this. And that's not including me. I'm just, I, I would consider myself probably more of a league racer than a content creator. I just happen to make videos. So, <laughs> yeah, a lot of content creators are going to get involved you know a lot of eyes are going to be on this league so it's going to be a lot of fun like i said it was tons of fun last time and yeah, i think that covers pretty much everything in that league so yeah fhk the third league that i will be racing in 
So expect videos on that leak to come. And it, I might even post a video, you know, talking, you know, who, with whoever my teammate is. You know, I don't know. I haven't decided yet. But lots of great stuff to come there. But that's not all that's going on. I know I said that, and it's true that, you know, I got a lot going on with work and family stuff. Outside of gaming, obviously, you know, as an adult. <laughs> and right now it kind of works out perfect where with league racing you know i wake up i'm used to waking up early for work so i wake up early on saturday and i have srl and then now with fhk i'll have that right after srl so it's convenient and knock them both out before it's even noon on a saturday morning there isn't shit to do anyhow you know i get everything done during the week <laughs> and then uh yeah and hyperdrive is sunday afternoon so it's really easy to fit it into my life this way and that's not the only thing to be fitting into my life here. Um, something else that just came up, and it's an opportunity that I'm going to absolutely jump on, is, uh, well, first to talk about the game. Uh, a new game is coming out. I think it comes out nine days from when I'm recording this right now, so about a week from when you guys see this. Um, it's a new World of Outlaws game, and the World of Outlaws is, for you who don't know, it's like the premier uh, sprint car and late model championship, dirt, dirt track racing. Basically, you know, us typical Americans, we like our dirt track racing. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, dirt track racing games in the past uh, haven't been very good, like, at all, <laughs> to put it ki kindly, you know. Uh, for for you more uh, European people, you might compare it to, like, the quality of, like, the grid games, how they've been real simcade, not very good, you know. Not, even simcade, isn't it? It's just a straight-up arcade-style game. Just kind of shitty, you know, especially when they advertise themselves as being this realistic, authentic experience. But yeah, this new game coming out has a lot of potential because it, it's iRacing is helping with it. So it's going to have a completely revamped physics engine, to say the very least least and it's got some cool features as well you know your ability obviously to have online races it has 13 real world licensed tracks over 40 tracks in total you know that's that's some good stuff and as someone that lives near one of the most premier dirt tracks in the world i live literally just shy of two miles from port royal speedway and one that knows dirt track racing is more than likely heard of that yeah so i've been in always around dirt track racing my whole life you know it happens i go outside and i can hear it clear as day you know i live so close to it and to finally be able to race on that track on like a modern console and like a good simulation style game it's, you know, it's going to be a really cool immersive experience for me and yeah when i heard about this game it obviously interests me because of that you know it's a new a new style of game for me i'm used to f1 games you know gran turismo and project cars and such so Dirt Track Racing, a whole new challenge to tackle. I like learning new games, trying to get good at them. So yeah, I thought it would be a ton of fun. And as I'm looking up info about it, I uh, come across this channel. I think it's called Extreme Dirt Racing. And this guy's posting about the game, you know, little things that he knows about, you know, hyping it up, getting excited for it. I'm like, all right, cool. And then I see one of his new videos, like, that come out a day later, is uh, announcing a league. So this guy, you know, he's got close to three th i think it's like two and a half thousand so subscribers on youtube he's like hey i'm gonna host a league for this new game you know it's gonna drop and then we're gonna host a league with preseason races and then you know the whole shebang the whole full format races and he's gonna hold it there's like four different types of cars um car classes in the game he's gonna hold basically a league for all four of them so i'm probably only gonna race in one and yeah, and because he is also East Coast United States, you know, all these leagues I'm a part of are ran by people in Europe. <laughs> so he's gonna, it's gonna be actual at night racing. You know, these races that I do, they're in the morning or early afternoon for me, are at night for all these European people. But uh, this one actually is gonna be at night for me. So finally, you know, a, a league that will be racing at night, at like, which is a more convenient time when you're done doing whatever you need to do for the day. So. It'll either be, depending on what division, you know, what class of car I race with, uh, I'll either be racing Sunday nights, which are already totally free for me because I just go to sleep and get ready for work the next morning, or Wednesday nights, which I can do after, you know, go to the work, <laughs> the work, yeah, go to my job, go to the gym afterwards, eat dinner, shower, all that, relax, and then do a Wednesday night race, you know, so it just naturally fits. Even though my schedule I would consider is busy, it just fits right in so smoothly, and it seems like... You know, it's a big group of, of people that's involved in it, a big channel's involved, so, you know, another chance to 
embrace a new challenge, learn a new game, you know, get to finally race kind of on my home track. It'll be a really cool experience, and yeah, a challenge of learning a completely new style of game, and I'm completely up to the challenge of we're going to throw our stuff right into the deep end. This is kind of what I did with Project Cars 2. I went from getting the game to immediately league racing in it, so for better or for worse, uh, whether we're back of the pack, middle of the pack, front, wherever, we're going to give it our all and <laughs> see what we can do in that. So yeah, two new leagues I'll be racing in. The one that you guys kind of already knew because I said I was going to race in three F1 leagues, so the third being FHK. Um, and also this, the channel Extreme Dirt Racing, whatever they're going to call their league, you know, that the league that that channel is running in the new World of Outlaw games I'm also going to race in. So two exciting uh, leagues that are going to be added to my schedule. Two more videos a week that you guys will be seeing of me recapping league races. And yet, yeah, two leagues that are big opportunities, you know, get a lot of eyes on our league racing and get our name out there and continue our push towards the top, you know, wherever wherever we're trying to go, wherever we're doing, you know, just trying to do the best we can. <laughs> and continuing to grow as a person and a player, you know, that's, that's the fun of it and that's the challenge. I know I'm going to meet a lot of cool people along the way, have a lot of fun playing some fun games and yeah, I'm looking forward to it. So that's that's why I'm excited moving forward, you know. I already consider things pretty good in terms of what I'm doing with League Racing. It's only going to get better from here. And another thing I'm looking forward to, so this is kind of off the topic of stuff that you see on my channel, but it could come into play later, and I'll get to how that will be, is uh, for people that know me personally, they know that uh, I'm also a fighting game player. I've been a fighting game player. I was a fighting game player long before I was a league racer, you know. Since I was a kid, really, I've always been playing fighting games. Uh, ever since I was exposed to the internet, I've been interested in the fighting game community, you know, tournaments and all that. I've been competing in tournaments since I think my first fighting game tournament was in like 2011 or something. Yeah, it was 2011 or 12. But nonetheless, you know, I've been playing fighting games for a long time, and a fighting game has been recently announced, Street Fighter VI. Oh, man. I could sit here for an hour and talk about how pumped I am about that game, but I know a lot of people in this channel aren't fighting game people, so to put it short, new Street Fighter is going to drop. Words cannot do justice how good the potential of this game looks. We are, like, stunned at, at what we have seen so far in a good way, and the whole fighting game community is just absolutely pumped. The game's going to drop sometime in 2023. So yeah, that's another thing to look forward to, a new Street Fighter. It's been a long time since a fighting game has really tickled my fancy, you know. So I haven't really been a com competing at all, really, in fighting games. So to be able to get a big part of what I am, you know, as a player back, you know, that interest and love for fighting games and competing, it's going to be awesome. And I want to do what I've done before, you know, travel to EVO. Uh, travel to other big tournaments that are East Coast. And yeah, if I do travel to tournaments, you know, I'll take my phone along, make a little vlog of it, you know, have fun with it. So that's how it could turn into videos in the future, you know, but that's a long way down the road, but still, nonetheless, tons of stuff to look forward to. So, yeah, FHK is the third league I'm racing in, one man, one female, constructors fo focused with a lot of content creators, different dynamic than the other two leagues I'm racing in. Gonna be awesome. World of Outlaws, dirt game i'm gonna get in on that action and get in on a on a league it's gonna have a lot of eyes on it for better or for worse with how we do <laughs> and then yeah i'm also pumped for the future of fighting games with the uh, street fighter 6 because you know street fighter 5 uh what's a sour note in the fighting game community to say the least so and yeah this was an awesome game i was surprised i put 92 kills up it was a nice close game you know you could tell both sides were, weren't just playing for kills but actually playing for the win and those are my favorite kind of lobbies where you, yeah you got people doing their own thing but it's still competitive it's just a lot of fun to get in there and shoot some people and i thought it'd be something all right to throw in the background so yeah i've raveled on way longer than i probably should you guys know me i suck at making things short yeah, a lot of things to look forward to in the future, so expect some more videos in the future, especially when those two leagues start. And I'm pumped, and I'm looking forward to these new challenges. So the next video you guys will be seeing is uh, the league race I did earlier today of Hyperdrive at Canada. And yeah, we'll see you guys in the next one.